Did you know the water is stretchy? I have a wire frame here. You can see that the center piece is free to move. You can see both sides of the slider in the middle now have a bubble on it. But watch what happens when I pop one side of it. Whoa. <laughs> Just sucks it to the other side. You can actually feel the force of it pulling back. So the surface tension holds it up until I pop the top of it. Then it drops. So for some reason, this bubble is actually acting the same way as a spring would act. Another way to see this springy nature of water is to dip a slinky in soapy water. It makes a helical bubble film all the way to the top of the slinky. Now I'm just gonna blow a smoke-filled bubble at the bottom and then pop the other side of the bubble film and you can see it pulls the smoky bubble all the way up to the top. In fact, it pulls it up so hard that eventually the bubble flies off the slinky due to the centrifugal force of it spinning around. Look how cool this looks. So this thin film of water has something called surface tension. And surface tension has the units of force per unit length. And that's exactly the same units as another constant called a spring constant. The spring constant tells us how much force you encounter when you pull on a spring a certain length. So what's interesting is that the spring constant and surface tension are basically the same thing. And before I continue, I'd like to thank the Swedish beauty tech brand Foreo for partnering with me on this video. I get shocked a lot on this channel, but did you know that you can actually safely use low-level painless pulses of electricity to stimulate facial muscles to contour your face to give a more chiseled look? You can actually achieve a mini facelift, they call it, with the Foreo Bear device. The Foreo Bear is made by Foreo Sweden, a company that has shaken up the wellness world. Foreo is a visionary brand that joins the tech and beauty industries. Bear is the world's first FDA-cleared medical microcurrent device with an anti-shock system that visibly reduces signs of aging by energizing and firming the 69 muscles in your face and neck. When using microcurrent, skin cells break down and then grow back stronger, the same way your muscles do after lifting weights. Even though they have dozens of facial silicone devices, the Bear by Foreo microcurrent device is one of the most groundbreaking gadgets that you can offer to somebody you love. So if you're always worried about finding a gift for a birthday or anniversary or any other special occasion, this is the perfect gift for your significant other. So if you're interested, you can get 21% off Bear by clicking the link below. Now let's get back to our experiment. Notice that in order to get any surface tension, it only occurs at the surface of water, not inside of it. So whenever you have an air-water interface, it creates surface tension. This is due to the fact that the water molecules on the surface of the water are not being pulled equally in all directions from other water molecules, like it is a little bit below the surface. What's interesting about this is that pure water actually has very strong surface tension, and it's so strong that whenever you try to spread out the water, it wants to contract back together. That's why you can't make bubbles with just pure water. It can't stretch out over the surface of your bubble blower. But if you add soap to water, the detergent molecules have hydrophobic tips that repel water. So they can insert themselves in between the water molecules on the surface so they don't pull on each other as hard. So that unequal force on the surface isn't as strong. So pure water alone wants to curl up into a little ball to have as little surface area as possible because of that high surface tension. But when you add soap to the water, it wants to spread out more. You can see this really well when I spray a section of this material with a hydrophobic spray. So the hydrophilic portions makes the water stick to it, and there are other areas that are hydrophobic. So by doing that, I can pile up the water with really high edges because it's hydrophobic on the edge so it doesn't want to spread out. But as soon as I add a little bit of soap to it, it relaxes that surface tension in the water, and so the water just melts away. It's actually really easy to measure the surface tension of liquids. You can just stick a rough plate in the liquid and see how much force it takes to pull it out. Okay, so I have some water on this scale here. You can see it's at zero grams right now, but as soon as this plate touches the water, suddenly that weight decreases, it goes to the negative. So you can see I have negative 0.34 grams. That's because some of the water is being lifted up by the plate, so the weight decreases. But now watch what happens when I put some soap in the water. I'm just gonna touch the water with a little bit of soap. 
Look at it go down. So now you know water is very springy. In fact, it has one of the highest surface tensions of any liquids that we regularly deal with. But it's not the highest. In fact, let's check another liquid that has an extremely high surface tension, 10 times stronger than water, gallium. You can see how much higher I can stack gallium on a penny compared to water. And also, let's see how much force it takes to pull this plate out of gallium. Whoa, look at it, just pick up the gallium. Whoa, that goes to negative three grams. So with the plate just at the surface of the gallium, it's at negative one grams. But I can even lift it up further, and look at that, it goes to negative 3.6 I saw. That is crazy. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab, and we'll see you next time.